Hey guys, my name is Simsy, and welcome back to some more Westeros Total War. We're playing as House Tyrell, so let's get straight and right into it. A crazy development has happened during the end turn phase. I managed to push out Randall Tarly. I was going to push another unit up to Hornvale. Then I was going to take another two around to maybe take Castle Rock and push into the Westlands. But before I did that, I managed to find... Oh god, I managed to find Tywin Lannister by himself with one unit of Hedge Knights. He must have been in a scouting party or somewhat... But we've managed to surround him here. I, I think he can still get past us and get back to Hornvale. But we could be quite possibly killing Tywin Lannister in the third episode of the House Tyrell campaign. In the second, if you haven't gone and watched the, the second, the episode before, highly recommend you do. We managed to kill Jamie Lannister. We also, I might as well recap, we managed to take Krakul. Uh, we also mar uh, managed to cement our alliance with the marriage with Willis Tyrell. We had to give them Sun House, which I think was, uh, it's okay. There's not too much of a uh, a loss, I guess. It was only making 600 per turn, and Willis now has a superb wife, Adriana Martel. They have a daughter, Melissa, and if they have further children, we can, that's our claimant to Dawn. Garland has had a son, Alekine, and Loris Tyrell has had a, a daughter as well. And surprisingly, Mace Tyrell and... His wife, who is a high tower, actually had a son called Lucas Tyrell. We also married off Hobber, Horace, and I think Math uh, John Fossaway, sorry, had a daughter. But we're going to be pushing against the Lannisters now. I was going to push against Joffrey, but then I thought we might as well just consolidate our forces, push all into the Westlands. Once we've defeated the Westlands, uh, the Lannisters in the Westlands, we're going to be able to push against. Uh, Joffrey in the Crownlands. Renly has like a massive army. He should be really pushing the Crownlands for himself. Uh, I wish we could do more cooperative sort of stuff. Right, um, let's get Tarly to attack Tywin. I'm not going to speed it up because I want to see where he goes. Does he go right or left? Because he's slowly. It he looks he's he's moving left. Didn't actually go that far. Okay, okay, okay. Let's push Loris around. And same with Mace. Um, I think I might actually attack with Mace. Simply because we've just got so much more cavalry than Tali. Mace isn't in range. No, Tali has the heavier cavalry, even if we fight with Loris. So... A knight attack doesn't really help. 120... Oh, it's the other unit. I was going to say... I forgot the, that he had one unit of hedge knights. I was going to say, fucking hell. 121 units in his general bodyguard. But no, it's 500 and... Four, uh, sorry, four... Yeah, it's 121. It's a, four, a 45 to 2 ratio. So let's fight this one on the field. And hopefully, at the start of today's part, we can kill Tywin Lannister. Um, if Jamie was the heir in Westeros Total War, we would have destroyed the faction. <laughs> Which would have been... Oh, not quite. I obviously would have passed it. Oh, no, we killed Martin Lannister, didn't we? It would have... It's still Lancel and Willem. But what we're going to do here is we're going to get my Spearman. Uh, actually, just get everyone, except for Randall and the Archers. And we're going to do, like, a big web sort of thing. So, um, that should do it, actually. Charge. Reinforcements have arrived. Let's hopefully kill Tywin Lannister here today. That's him. Oh, archers. You're going to get too much friendly fire. There's already going to be enough of that. Without me doing it. Alright, so we want to surround him as much as possible, okay? So put like a unit here. Unit there. There. And just surround, okay? While we got units actually attacking. But get everyone to be running. If we can kill Tywin here today, this will be absolutely fantastic. There is a gap here, which I really do want to close up. 
if we can. Not really too sure what that hedge knot's doing. 12%. Just plug this bitch up. Plug her up. Like a butt plug. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Oh, Christ. That's probably the worst thing I've said in the video. Couldn't help myself. Alright. Come on, where is he? Oh, he's pretty in the thick of it. I think we've got him. A little gap here. 13, 12. Oh, no, he's surrounded. Fighting to the death. Enemy general killed. Tywin Lannister. Lord of Casterly Rock, Warden of the West, is dead. We'll run down those hedge knights. That foolishly are here. But I can't believe that. I can't believe Randall Tarly stumbled across Tywin Lannister on a scouting mission. He sent a raven back to the fort, and before nightfall, <laughs> Loras Mace Garland tore him up. Right. Randall lost seven uh, lost seventy four. Loris lost forty nine. Tywin Lannister deployed 121 and lost eighty five. Who got the most casualties inflicted and sustained? Mostly the knights, yeah. Not a very big battle, so the uh, the sustained and inflicted isn't that important. Alright, let's kill the remaining units. Lord of the Lord of Castle Rock is death. Death. The Lord of Castle Rock is dead. With the death of the Lord of Castle Rock, his heir has succeeded him. The great houses know not whether to find fear or comfort in this knowledge. I definitely find comfort because he was a fantastic commander. So we've killed Jamie Lannister. We've killed Tywin. Um, all that leaves is obviously Tyrion is currently under House Joffrey's command, but. Come over and take the Westerns if you want. Nah. It's going to be under the command of our son, Garl, and I think that was, that's what the plan was, wasn't it? Yeah. Right. Um, we're nearly out of movement points here, so I don't really want Randall going headstrong into Hornvale just yet. After that battle, we'll do a save. And let's assess. We're still making a little bit of money. We're going to make a profit soon. I wonder what ever happened to that Ironborn units that went on a little bit of a raiding party through the Reach. Didn't really do anything, but still need to be on our toes if that ever happens again. Right. We'll rally back up. We'll push against Hornvale with everyone here. Um, quite easy. Yeah, I knew there was a pretty big army. Wow, we could have lost Randall if I foolishly pushed into there. Full stack. There was also at least close to, if not half a stack or a full stack. That was around there. So who's at Silver Hill? Westerling. Eight turns. Right, let's end the turn. I'm saving a little bit more because I am rendering stuff in the background. Death stalks the land at Old Town. That's not good. Faction announcements. Is that Ryan? Ray? Was Ryan? 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 I Ryan Redwine. Sounds really odd. Um. Oh wow. Wow, Paxter, you old dirty dog. 50 years old. Oh, his wife's 44. Okay. But just looking at the display pitch, he's a, an old hound. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> Raymond Redwine. Wow, another claimant. I'm quite surprised that, like, Paxter and old Macy boy here are putting out. <laughs> Nicely done. Right, let's continue the siege. 
there's a fair decent garrison in there. So there's no hesitation to go running in. We might as well wither them down. Their morale is heavily dropped with Jamie and Tywin's head presented to Renly at Storm's End and are sitting on a spike. I'm sure, actually, we could send their heads after they've rotted up there for a bit to Rob Stark on good terms. Let's continue to siege it out. There's no harm in waiting. We're not in a rush. And especially with my super fast computer, these turn times, just look at them. Phew! Absolutely hooning past. Trade increased. Two to one. We're nearly at the point where we might as well just keep on... I probably should have auto resolved at the fourth, but the thing is, Meg, Mega, Meg, Ga, Tyrell. Who's that? Garland had a daughter. Cool. We're nearly at the point where you might as well just starve them out. Yep. Sack. Easy settlement taken from Westerling. What does House Stark want? Mission failed, new family member, Redwine. Our family is growing. Um, right. Oh, we're finally in a profit. Bloody hell. We're in debt for ages. Right. Well, let's get out of here, if I do say so myself. Let's start tearing down these Lannisters. I don't think I've ever actually attacked. Is that a... How long? Wait, what the fuck? How can I see that? Well, it looks like we're going to starve out another poor bastard. Adam Marbrand. Let's actually hope he doesn't attack, because that's a pretty weak army. Oh, God, I can't believe that. Faction announcements. We've got some more family members? No, it's just Willis. I probably shouldn't have him at High Garden. I was kind of role playing because he's crippled, but the thing is, he's going to get some horrible traits if he stays here. Actually, making a little bit of money. In the game, he can walk, so walk he will. Um, fucking Marbrand. <laughs> As if. Adam Marbrand with a full stack. One turn remaining. If he doesn't come out... <laughs> oh my god. Adam Marbrand the scared. <laughs> Alright, let's move Willis up here now. I wouldn't be surprised if he's got like reduced movement points. So we've killed Tywin in this part and Madam Adam Marbrand. Fantastic. So, I think we should keep going. We're on a roll here. We're actually making a lot of money now. I might actually wait. Oh, we don't have that much money. I might wait with Willis just outside High Garden because I don't want him to get tr that bad traits. I never actually thought of He's already got enough bad traits as it is. Relationship is worse with House Aaron. Uh, why? Is there an army on that fleet? No. I was going to say, they could sail. Oh! Sail up the Manda. Which they already have. That could have been bad. That could have been really bad. Um, a Lannister army here. Actually quite good, but no commander. Those guards of the rock are absolutely fantastic. But they don't count for shit when there's four stacks surrounding them. And we have... I might let Mace Tyrell attack this one. Get his command bonus up a bit. Obviously, he'll get all the traits. One command. Alright, let's push into the Westerlands. How are we going for time? 15 minutes. Yeah. 
Like I said, I am rendering in the background, so I do apologise. I don't want it to crash and I'll lose my save, because that would be the biggest piss take, wouldn't it? I think I could quite possibly be uploading as well, and especially with Google Chrome. If any of you guys use Co uh, Google Chrome like I do, that just fucking chews through the CPU on your computer. Lawrence Tyrell, that's a boy's name. I like it. <gasps> yes, Willis Tyrell, as soon as he goes for a stroll, well, I can't go for a walk, can he? Um, goes out of Hike Garden, he has a son, Lawrence Tyrell, who is half Martelli himself. Mace Tyrell has had a second grandson, so obviously Garland and Willis, their legacy will live on. How fantastic is that? Alright, let's start moving up here. Let's attack Hornvale. Arya Stark is a diplomat there. Interesting. Not actually too far from the Brotherhood Without Banners, which are just like over there. But, who's in there? Oh! <laughs> wow, you got to be kidding me. I can't believe Kevin's there. Like, what the actual fuck? It's just, we've just been so incredibly lucky that we've stumbled across all the faction leaders. You'd think, like... <laughs> That's probably, probably what they're thinking. I've duped them. They're thinking, oh yeah, obviously the Tyros are going to push against Lannisport. It's got the biggest economy um, in the game. Uh, well, probably not. Old Town's pretty up there. One of the biggest. And then obviously Castle Rock is the hot, is the uh, the um, the crown jewel of the Westerlands. The most military centred hub when they were fighting in the Riverlands. But no, we've, we've bamboozled them here today. Um, but I will let Mace deal the blow. That's Randall Tarly. Uh, we're going to have to give... Um, hang on. There we go. Mace Tyrell is with Randall. 4-1. to one. Kevin Lannister. Clear victory. Mace Tyrell lost 212 and has killed... Kevin, Lord of Castle Rock. Now, I'm going to be interested to see if this actually destroys the faction. Because if it does, no. Because we did kill Martin. So, there's obviously Willem and Lancel just left. So, I would imagine Lancel has, in is, has inherited... Why are we still besieging that? Um, nicely done. Has inherited... The faction leader trait, if you will. Inherited the throne. Did I even repair Silver Hill? I don't think I've repaired Krakow yet. No, I have. Right. Um, we're going to rally back up. Only a small battle in today's part. Obviously, killing Tywin. A small battle. A huge, huge impact, however. Um, three spots there, which I'll get you guys in. But, let's push on to Casterly Rock. We've got the pace and the momentum. So let's do it. Right, let's do a save. And we're going to end the episode here. Thank you very much for watching. If you watched all the way through, guys, I really do appreciate it. Please leave a like to support this series and my channel. Subscribe if you haven't to keep up to date with the House Tyrell campaign. And above all, guys, after you watch the video, remember to go out and have a fantastic rest of your day. Hope you have a good one, guys. I sure as shit will. Bye-bye.